Hey, this is Dion, Cold Pioneers. In today's video, I will be showing you an easy and fun way once again to learn CSS. So I'm at flukeout.github.io. This is the part two of a video I did before where we did levels one through 16 of the CSS diner game. And now we'll be going through level 17 through 32. Again, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you have an interest in learning uh, the languages of the web, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can get more content just like this. So let's get into this game here. And again, it, it, it really just teaches you how to more so target elements as opposed to styling the element. So uh, styling the elements is a different, you know, that's a whole different category in itself when it comes to CSS. Uh, but let's get started here. 17, select the small apple and the pickle. And we want to use the last child pseudo selector to get that. So first we want the apple here. And, and we put the comma because we this is a combinator type of deal. <laughs> so we're selecting the small apple and the pickle. And then we want the um, class of small. And then last child. And that's how you get rid of the small apple and pickle. Now here we want to select the third plate using the nth child um, so pseudo selector here. So that should be pretty easy. We just put plate. Again, these aren't real elements you will see on a web page, but it just gives you a nice visual way of learning this here. So nth child and this little Thing we want number three and that's the third plate now we want to select the first bento using nth last child um, of a so <laughs> you know and you really do run into this stuff um, out in the real world so let's get this this bento selector here um, all right, let's go with bento. And we want the nth, well, we put a dot there, nth last child. And let's put our little brackets there. And we want this to be, let's see, the bento is the third. It's like the third. So what is it saying here? counting from the back. So that's what nth less child is. So bento is uh, the third one here coming from the back. So we should put a three there and that gets rid of that. Oh, and I need to put, <laughs> I need to put a colon there and not a dot. All right, there you go. All right, select first apple. That should be easy, right? And you just use the first of type. So I should be able to just hit apple colon first of type. Perfect. Level 21, select all even plates using nth of type, A. So yeah, this is another one. You, you run into this every once in a while. So just like it's saying here, div nth of type two um, selects the, the second instance. <laughs> all right, so let's see, let's, um, and then this one here selects all the odd here. So you could do like either or, right? You, this would do all the even, and if you put even or odd, that would do all the odd there. So I'm just gonna do like even to make this thing easier. So we want plate colon this time. Nth, and let me spell nth right, nth of type. 
and let's put even in there. Great. Now, nth of selector with formula. <laughs> Select every second plate starting from the third. This just gets harder and, and harder, right? All right, so let's go plate. That's what we know we're doing that. Nth. Nth of type. Oh boy. And let's uh, make these brackets here. And we want every second plate. So that would be two in. Every second plate and the formula plus starting from the third. So we'll do a three there. So it's starting from the third plate. This should give us every second one. Oops, and there you go. All right, select the apple on the middle plate using, what do we have here? Only of type selector, only of type. All right, so let's grab the plate first as an element. There we go, we want the plate, and the plate is a parent of the apple. So let's grab our apple, and only of type. And that's how you would target that. All right, select the last apple and orange. Man, why did they just had to make this uh, more difficult here, huh? All right, so let's do apple. And we're using last of type. Oops, there, last of type. And we'll use the comma as a combinator, orange last of type nice all right select the empty bentos by using the empty selector this is one that i don't think i've ever used this so that's one that you can forget really quick so bento empty I have to keep that one in mind you never know when you run into uh something like that this is a cool one here, the not, the negation pseudo class. This one has gotten me out of so many difficult situations. My back is up against the wall. I can't get to what I need to get to. And then I use the not, <clears throat> excuse me, the not um, pseudo class. All right, so um, Apple, uh, we want to select the big apples. Um, so let's see, apple not, and on the plate, not on the plate, and small, and that should grab, so like it's saying here, not big and medium, so we want it not on the plate, and so we don't want it on like small, right? So that should grab that. Select the items for someone using the attribute. This is another one that either, I don't know, I've never used it that I can't remember. I might have, but either way, this is a good one to just have a knowledge of that it exists. <laughs> At least know it exists, right? So attribute selector. And let's see here. We want the, what do we want here? Oh, four. So we just want this attribute four. So we should be able to put that in brackets and get four. We are almost at the end of this thing here. Now we want this to select the plates that's for somebody. And you can do that by, they got some, Got a couple examples here. So if we just do plate, put it in a bracket four, done. Select um, Vitali's or Vitali's meal. Uh, let's see here. And again, we're using the attribute value selector. Uh, and again, we're on Level 29, a few more to go. All right, so four 
and it says you have to put an equal sign and then quotations and then another bracket there and if we select uh, Vitaly or Vitaly I hope I'm pronouncing that right I worked with <laughs> I worked with somebody whose name this was their name and I don't think I pronounced his name correctly <laughs> all right so that should give us that all right select the items for names that start with um, a capital S and an A so wow you know it just shows you the power of CSS so let's see we'll do a another little bracket thing let's just make the bracket and four and what are they using here they're using this um <laughs> whatever this symbol is here and where it where is that on the keyboard there it is so we use four equals and if we put in capital S and lowercase a that should give us what we want here so that should select Sam and Sarah because they start with those two letters all right we're in the home stretch here select the items for names that end with a t o all right which is hayato and minato all right let's grab them so again we'll use the brackets i don't know why i keep messing the brackets up we we'll use the brackets and put the four in there and this time we're using a dollar sign equals and it ends with ato all right last one last chance select the meals for names that contain obb so robbie and bobby let's grab those let's get the brackets four and we're going to use the asterisk there based on what they're saying and let me put this asterisk in there correctly there it is asterisk equals and what are they saying obb all right obb and this should beat this game let's savor this moment before i hit enter to defeat this final boss you did it you rock at css so that is all 32 levels of the css diner game i hope you enjoyed this i hope it helped you to understand the power of css and how to target specific elements within elements within elements again the game doesn't really teach you page layout and styling and, and things like that but being able to target elements is a very important skill to have in web development. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You'll get more great content like this. And I will see you in the next video.